Look at her, she's spitting nerdy. Look at her, she's spitting nerdy. Can't you see she's spitting nerdy? Look at her, she's spitting nerdy. Good morning, friends. Today is a meal prep day, and I am so excited. I am finishing off my keto experiment with kind of an epic keto meal prep, if I may say so myself. I'm doing keto pizza and keto pancakes and keto little like fat chocolate bites and it's gonna be delicious and an amazing way to end my little keto journey. For those of you who are more new and recently joined me, you're like, Marissa, what? Why are you quitting keto? Go watch my best diet for weight loss video. I'll link it up there and down there. It explains all of everything, essentially. Keto's been good, but I think it's time to give it one last hurrah with some amazing keto food and move on. I am on my way to a farmer's market right now. You know how I was driving an hour to and from my butcher to get like free range, pasture, raised, grass fed, etc., whatever meat. Turns out that there's a farmer's market that's like four blocks from my house that has the same thing. So I've wasted a lot of time. I haven't compared prices yet. I don't know if the farmer's market is more expensive. It probably is. But like overall, if I save two hours of my day, sometimes three hours total driving, I'll pay a little bit more. I discovered this farmer's market a few weeks ago because I drove past it and I was like, what's that? That looks like a farmer's market. So I tried to go back the next week and it was closed and everyone was packing up and that was sad. And then I dragged my boyfriend to it last week and ended up discovering this amazing like pasture raised whatever farm that like brings their animals, not their animals, they're, they're, they're dead animals. They bring the meat to the farmer's market um, and like we chatted with them and they were super cool and they really seemed to like really care about what they're doing and it was great. So we ended up buying bison and I am so excited about this. I think we're gonna have it for dinner tonight and we're just gonna make it like super basic and simple. Never had bison before. We've been talking about trying it for like six months. So when we stumbled across pasture raised, grass fed and finished hormone free, etc. bison, we had to go for it. So yeah, really excited for dinner tonight. Gonna go back there to their little shop and get some chicken for my pizza, my keto pizza that's gonna be so delicious. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try to get everything else that I can at the farmer's market and then I'll probably just go to like Whole Foods or Target or Trader Joe's to get whatever I can't get at the farmer's market. Oh, and quick side note about the whole like pasture raised thing, etc. I have talked about how I'm eating more red meat, but I think it is kind of important to note that at least as far as the research that I've seen, you really don't wanna be adding more red meat to your diet unless it is like pasture raised, 100% grass fed. So grass fed and grass finished, not like grass fed and then grain finished. And you want it to be hormone free and like all the good stuff. Because when you get the meat that isn't pasture raised or is grass finished or whatever, you really start to lose the nutrients that are good for you in red meat. And you also start to increase the risk of all of the things that people are scared about with red meat. It's farmer's market. My truck is literally such a mess with like different grocery bags, but uh, that's okay, because we're saving the planet. yesterday, um, no corn, no soy, no yeah. GMOs, okay. no preservatives, no antibiotics, actually above organic standards because we don't use any chemicals whatsoever and organic foods are allowed to give you over 240 of those. I think I'm going to take a dozen eggs because awesome. I do need eggs. That is the best coconut water I've ever yeah. seen. Without a doubt. You're gonna like this one. tip for you grocery shoppers that go to multiple grocery stores to get the best deal slash the best produce carry a like freezer bag so that if you get cold items like almond milk and mozzarella and frozen chicken you can just keep it 
nice and cold while you go to your other stores. Grocery shopping accomplished. I had to go to Target to pick up a few things that the farmer's market didn't have, but that's okay. And now I'm going to wash my car because washing my car has been on my to-do list for about four months now. And every time I got close to doing it, it would rain and then my car would be clean. But this time it rained and now my car is like speckled with rain spots and I've also gotten it pooped on quite a bit and it just needs to stop and I just need to wash my car. So I'm going to the car wash. <laughs> up my Science Sunday post that you guys will have seen already all about inflammation and depression. It's a really interesting article so if you haven't seen that post yet definitely go check it out. And I'm waiting for my chicken to defrost so I'm gonna do a quick little mobility session. I'm really sore from the workout that I did yesterday. I did like an insane hit circuit that like incorporated my physical therapy which was kind of fun. It was nice to multitask and get out of there a little quicker but I don't think I can be able to do anything super intense today because I'm, I'm pretty sore so I'm just gonna work on some mobility. gotten into the worst habit lately of not drinking enough so i am really thirsty right now so i'm gonna have a organifi a green juice try to drink all this and then fill up my giant water bottle and try to drink that today too Speaking of Organifi, I do have the discount code fit and nerdy for 15% off but also i decided to try their protein powder and oh my god this is without a doubt the best protein powder i've ever tried ever including the whey protein. I got it in chocolate because duh. It's all vegan, it's flavored with stevia and monk fruit. It has a blend of pea protein, quinoa protein, and pumpkin seed protein, which I love because I think I talked about this in my um, vegan protein taste test video, which unfortunately I just, I didn't know about about this when I was doing it or else that it probably would have won. I'm sorry, amazing grass protein, but I think we have a new winner. But I talked about how most vegan proteins are like all pea protein and it's nice to have a variety so that you're not just getting protein from peas. So like this incorporates two different kinds of protein. And it literally like almost tasted like chocolate milk, like not gonna lie. It still kind of tasted like I was drinking protein powder, but it was, if I just like kind of closed my eyes and didn't pay attention to it, it could have been like drinking chocolate milk. It didn't have any of the like, gross like proteiny texture or taste to it and it was just amazing i'm never going back that is now my go-to protein i will still be using the amazing grass peanut butter chocolate protein in my peanut butter chocolate smoothies because that is probably my favorite breakfast of all times but if i'm ever gonna have just like a plain protein that's gonna be my go-to. For this meal prep, I am doing keto pancakes for breakfast and then for dinner, I have a cauliflower pizza that I'm basing off of a pizza that I absolutely love from Blaze Pizza. But obviously the crust is gonna be super low carb and I adjusted the ratio of the toppings to make it a little bit more keto friendly. And then for snacks, I'm essentially making some chocolate peanut butter fat bombs and then I'm also doing my favorite adaptogenic latte. This is just gonna be an epic meal prep and I am so excited about it. However, I am I'm only meal prepping for the next three days. One, because I'm going down to visit my parents on Thursday for Mother's Day weekend, so I won't even be here to eat the food. And two, 
as much as I've loved all the food that I've been eating while keto, I'm just really, really ready to stop doing keto. As much as I've loved the food, I haven't particularly felt very satisfied and I've been really, really wanting to binge on like everything. And I feel myself starting to slip into an unhealthy mindset and I just, I need to cut it off before it gets to a bad place. And for those of you who've seen my best diet for weight loss video, you know that this is the end of my phase one of finding the best diet and I would go into phase two, which is all of my elimination diets. But I think I just, I really need a break. I need a few weeks to just not have to worry meticulously about my food and everything that goes in my mouth and not have to meal prep precisely. And obviously I'm still gonna eat healthy cause like that's how, what I feel good doing and that's what makes me happy. But I just, I need some time to just stop thinking about food and stop worrying about everything and just get back to like my baseline. So as of Thursday, I will be a free woman, at least in terms of my diet, although I still won't be eating gluten because hashtag celiac disease and I'll still be eating healthy because hashtag Marissa diet. Anyway, let's go make some pancakes. For our pancakes, I'm literally just copying someone else's recipe aside from the sweetener, so I will link this down below and you can just recreate it. But we have one cup of almond flour, quarter cup of coconut flour, one teaspoon of a baking powder. The recipe called for a lot more sweetener than this, but monk fruit is like extremely sweet, so I'm going with a half a tablespoon. And we have a third of a cup of my favorite almond malt, half a tablespoon of vanilla. We got a quarter cup of avocado oil, quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna grind some in and hope that it's about a quarter teaspoon. And then five eggs. Hello, and then we're just gonna whisk it all together. The instructions said to cook these in ghee, so of course I'm using my favorite gold nugget ghee. Put a little bit in the pan, heated it up, and then put a few tiny little pancakes in there. So while the pancakes are cooking, I decided to start prepping my chicken, which is going on top of my pizza. So I literally just put some extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper on there, and stuck it in the little nifty grill, and it does it all by itself. I'm making myself a tiny pancake with the leftovers. <laughs> I'm really excited to eat it. Here's the deal for a wonderful pizza. What you see on screen right now is the pizza that we're trying to recreate. Whenever I go to Blaze, I get that pizza and take off the red peppers and then I add artichoke. And I usually add red onion, but my red onion is like frozen because it was in the back of my fridge, so I have a white onion. For our crust, we are using the Cauliflower Foods Cauliflower Pizza Crust in the original Italian flavor, and I am obsessed with these ingredients. Literally just cauliflower, cheese, eggs, basil, and garlic. That's it. There's no like fillers, no preservatives. A lot of cauliflower crust will actually add like gluten and other flours to make it crusty, but then just put in cauliflowers and call it cauliflower crust. But this... This is great. I haven't actually tried it, so who knows if it's actually gonna survive becoming a pizza, but I'm in love with it so far. So that's the base, then I'm gonna top it with some chicken, mozzarella cheese, artichokes, and these are the ones that I just got at the farmer's market, and they're actually pickled artichokes, which I'm really not sure about how they're gonna turn out, but it was the only like pre-cut up artichokes that I could find, and I figured, you know, pickling things ain't that bad for you, so why not? And then also some onion, and then I'll cook it with all of that on top, and then after it's done cooking, I will top it with some pesto, some salt and pepper, some avocado, and a ton of arugula. This is what we have for our fat bombs per serving, I'm using one Eating Evolved Keto Cup, which is literally just like essentially coconut butter and cacao, one and a half tablespoons of almond flour, one teaspoon of cacao butter, two teaspoons of raw coconut butter, and two thirds of a tablespoon, which is also two teaspoons of almond butter. And I'm using some monk fruit to sweeten it. This is not really pre-measured. This is just what I feel like is gonna be a good amount based on what I know about monk fruit and my desired sweetness level. So we're just gonna combine all the fatty ingredients and heat it up until it melts and then stir in the almond flour and the monk fruit. Change of plans, last time I made this, I'm pretty sure I made it with peanut butter, not almond butter. The peanut butter melts just fine. The almond butter is staying chunky. So instead, I'm putting it in my blender and I'm actually gonna add a tiny splash of raw cream. That looks much more blended and chocolatey. I just folded in the almond flour and monk fruit and now it's looking something like this and I'm gonna transfer it into my ice tray and just freeze it up into little cubes. And we're done. 
here's what we got for meal prep for breakfast. We got le pancakes. For a little snack, probably for dessert to go along with my adaptogenic latte. We got the little chocolate bites. For Din Din, we got the cauliflower crust chopped with chicken, onion, pickled artichoke, and mozzarella cheese. Just put some salt and pepper on there. So that's all gonna go on top of that. And it's gonna go bake in the oven. And then I'm gonna top it with avocado, arugula, and pesto. This is future Marissa stepping in to say that this pizza, oh, oh no, I dropped a piece of chicken. This pizza is so good. The crust actually holds together. Like I cut it into a slice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it to just stand out there on its own, but like for cauliflower crust, this is incredible. And it all just tastes so good. It's amazing. I love it. So I decided not to meal prep my adaptogenic lattes because, 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 because Four Sigmatic just came out with some new products. And yes, this is this is my Four Sigmatic box. It's a little crazy, but it, that's what's going on. So they came out with a chai latte mushroom mix, and this one has turkey tail and reishi, and obviously chai. And I am so freaking excited to try this because I love chai lattes and I love turkey tail and reishi, so this is gonna be amazing. And then they also have a golden latte. This one has shiitake and obviously turmeric and it is beautifying. So um, I'm also really excited to try this one. So I wanna try both of these by themselves with like extra fats just to hit the macros that I logged. But this one I definitely wanna try with the Organifi Gold Juice. I also wanna try it with a little bit of cacao and the Gold Nugget Ghee Mushroom Chocolate Ghee. And so I just, I wanna be able to experiment with these because I'm really excited about both of them. And so I don't wanna like prep any of my fats and like put them in a little container or anything because I just wanna, wanna to figure out how how to best consume these. And as always, you can use code Fit and Nerdy for 15% off of Four Sigmatic products. These are, I believe, somewhat limited edition, um, at least for now. If they sell really well, I think they're going to restock and make them permanent. But if you definitely want to get your hands on them, I suggest buying them ASAP in case they do sell out and they don't restock. It's bison time! We just cooked up our bison. It's looking pretty good, if I may say so myself. I've got a little side salad, which is arugula kale, some avocado, and a little bit of my extra virgin olive oil dressing with like lemon and stuff. And then we have artichokes cooking over here, and they're just taking kind of forever. The guy said that they would take 45 minutes to cook. It's been about 45 minutes, and they're still like very tough. So it's gonna be a two course meal, because uh, these are just taken away too long. So we've just been doing crossword puzzles for like the last 45 minutes and we're stuck on like the last four. And 52 it's... minutes. Wait, we've been on this one for 52 minutes? 52 minutes and 45 seconds. That's ridiculous. Guys, we suck. <laughs> we have like four left and we can't figure it out. Yeah, I, T, T. This is so funny. Perfect. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, that's what I do, that's my strategy. <laughs> Just make up words until something goes. Got an artichoke. It's really hot. Oh no. Are you gonna die? Let me young it. Oh no! Oh, yeah. Pull it back, pull it back. Yeah, what's seven across? Indian flatbread. Oh. It's R blank T blank. I have no idea. So that dinner was absolutely delicious and amazing, and I will definitely be having it again, but a bison is it's a little little expensive. So won't we'll be having it super often. I really wanted to try the uh, golden milk latte from Four Sigmatic tonight, but I am just so full. Like I ate so much for dinner. I had that huge salad with half an avocado. That was at least like five cups of greens. Then with some dressing and artichokes covered in ghee and lemon juice and the entire ribeye steak. That was delicious. So I'm too full to have the golden milk, but. I will definitely update you guys when I do try it and let you know how it is. But for now, we've just settled into bed to watch Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them because we have been marathoning, not really marathoning, but going through all the Harry Potter movies in order. And so I wanted to tack this one on at the end because, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of part of it. Kinda. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do give it a little thumbs up if you did because it really does support me and my channel and I really appreciate it. Please share it with all of your friends and your family and your bison-loving neighbors. And subscribe for more videos and hit that little notification button so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you very soon. Bye.